Reliable 100% fiber internet kaya ang sarap maging tambahay with Red Fiber. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. appoints Rafael Popo Lotilla as Energy Secretary. The announcement was made by Press Secretary Trixie Cruz Angeles on Monday, July 11. Lotilia previously held the post from 2005 to 2007 under former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Marcos is set to convene his cabinet again tomorrow, Tuesday, July 12, but will be participating virtually as he remains in isolation after testing positive for COVID-19. President Marcos has yet to announce cabinet picks for health, environment, science and technology, and housing, among other posts. Following the first cabinet meeting held last week, the president made clear three priorities, the economy, return to in-person classes, and streamlining government. The Norwegian Nobel Committee and other groups expressed support for Rappler CEO and Nobel laureate Maria Ressa and former Rappler researcher-writer Reynaldo Santos Jr. after the Philippines' Court of Appeals affirms their cyber libel conviction. In a press statement Friday, July 8, Nobel Committee Chair Birit Rice Anderson says she is gravely concerned that Maria Ressa is being prosecuted for exercising her rights of expression. She adds, Ressa uses freedom of expression to expose abuse of power, use of violence, and growing authoritarianism in her native country, the Philippines. In October 2021, Ressa and Russian journalist Dmitry Muratov were awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for their efforts to safeguard freedom of expression, which is a precondition for democracy and lasting peace. Meanwhile, University of the Philippines journalism professor Danilo Arau says the CA decision is most unfortunate as it is a blow to press freedom. The steering committee of the Hold the Line Coalition, composed of over 80 organizations around the world, also called for the decriminalization of libel in the Philippines. College Editors Guild of the Philippines Alliance officer Melanie Joy Feranil also says the cyber libel charge is part of the Duterte administration's legacy and is expected to be continued by the new administration. The International Press Institute, a global network of editors, journalists, and media executives, also expressed support for Ressa and Rappler. It says it continues to view this case as targeted harassment to silence Maria. On Saturday, July 9, the Asia chapter of the Asian American Journalists Association also expresses grave concern over the CA decision. The decision not only affirms Ressa's and Santos's conviction, but also lengthens the possible maximum jail time by eight months. The mother of the man arrested for the killing of former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is a member of the Unification Church, the church's Japan head says on Monday, July 11. Tetsuya Yamagami, an unemployed 41-year-old, was identified by police as the suspect who approached Abe and opened fire during a campaign speech on Friday. Yamagami believed Abe had promoted a religious group to which his mother made a huge donation, Kyoto News Agency has said, citing investigative sources. Yamagami told police his mother went bankrupt from the donation, the Yomiuri newspaper and other media have reported. Tomihiro Tanaka, president of the Japan branch of Family Federation for World Peace and Unification, known as the Unification Church, tells reporters at a briefing in Tokyo that Yamagami's mother was a member of the church but declined to comment on her donations. Abe appeared at an event hosted by the organization affiliated with the church last September where he delivered a speech praising the affiliates' work towards peace on the Korean peninsula, according to the church's website. Police confirmed the suspect said he held a grudge against a specific organization but have not named it. In Sri Lanka, thousands of protesters stormed the president's official residence in Colombo on Saturday, July 9. Protesters demanded President Kotabaya Rajapaksa's resignation as public anger grew over the country's worst economic crisis in seven decades. Soldiers and police were unable to hold back the crowd of chanting protesters who forced their way through heavy metal gates into the finance ministry and the president's seafront offices. Rajapaksa left the official residence on Friday as a safety precaution ahead of the planned weekend demonstration. Leaders of Sri Lanka's protest movement on Sunday, July 10, say they would occupy the residences of the President and Prime Minister until they finally quit office. According to the Speaker of Parliament, Rajapaksa will quit on July 13, while Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe says he will step down to allow an all-party interim government to take over. OPM artist Paolo Sandez's heartbreak anthem Sorry gets featured on K-pop sensation BTS's V's vlog on the Bangtan TV YouTube channel Saturday, July 9. The 52-minute vlog showed V driving around while jamming to mainstream Western music, but surprised Filipino armies and Sandejas. 
when the BTS member then began bopping along to the OPM artist's 2020 song, Sorry. Sandejas posts a series of tweets reacting to the vlog and expressing his excitement and gratitude after Filipino armies inform Sandejas of the great news. Paolo Sandejas signed with record label Universal Records in early 2018. In July 2018, the 21-year-old singer debuted with his first single, My Girl. Meantime, internet personality singer and actress Donalyn Bartolome apologizes on Sunday, July 10, over photos she shared on her social media accounts depicting herself as a sexy infant. Shots included Donalyn in diapers, wearing a bib as her only top, and Donalyn in a onesie while sucking suggestively from a milk bottle. In a statement, Donalyn writes, quote unquote, It was never my intention to enable one of the most horrifying acts here on earth. The apology comes after netizens accuse Donalyn of feeding the fantasies of pedophiles. Donalyn adds she has had the original set of photos taken down and encouraged others to alert her of other links featuring reposts of these photos. As of writing, Donalyn has a combined 26 million followers across her Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube accounts.